Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Norway and they take on Scotland. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Here's how Norway will begin the game. Here's how Scotland will line up. Scott McTominay plays alongside John McGinn in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And the contest begins... Frederik Aursnes. Really getting stuck in. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? McTominay. Can he find the net? And a decent save. Full credit. Over it comes. And well, the danger is still there. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, if you're the opposing defender, you've really got to keep a weather eye on Erling Haaland. What are you expecting to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Ryan Porteous. Dykes. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Adams. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Well, that's the end of that move for now. Martin Odegaard. And simply couldn't beat the first defender. Scott McTominay. Perfect challenge. Andrew Robertson. And he has options available. But nothing comes of it.
Delightful pass. In search of space. A very timely interception. Holland. And the pass could do damage. And possibilities here. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here's the goal again. And it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then Haaland finishes it with such quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal from a top-class player. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Dykes. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. McGinn. Oh, maybe the equaliser. And the keeper there to deal with it. Corner kick played in. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. Just a matter of thumping it away. And possession lost by Norway. Holland. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. There's a slide draw pass. And the problem not completely solved. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. You could almost hear the fans telling him to shoot, and he obliged. Well, he was absolutely right to take the shot on, and it was a decent effort as well, but it just creeps past the woodwork. Aaron Hickey. Well, getting the ball forward. Robertson. And Norway regaining possession. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Well, they know they need to stop him. Magnificent defending. The first half here comes to an end. So back underway here into the second half. Just the challenge that was required. Martin Odegaard. Here's Robertson. Well, in typical fashion, Erling Haaland asking plenty of questions of the defence in the first half. Difficult to contain, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Che Adams. Callum McGregor. Now well, time just challenged magnificently. Dykes in position here to protect the ball 
Berg. And he read it well. Lyndon Dykes. Birger Solberg Melling. How about the cross? And whipped into the box. Thumped clear. Holland. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Ostigord. Pedersen. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Good bit of pressing. El Yunusi to jump in front and keeping it out. So a personnel change then. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And Norway have it back now. And a chance to whip it in here. Holland, terrific block. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Pedersen. Martin Odegaard. Big chance. Oh, so close, but just unable to keep the shot down. El Yunusi. Excellent defending. Ten minutes left for play. Can they push ahead on the closing stages? Credit to them for winning back possession. Adams. Could be! And calling upon the goalkeeper to keep things even. Well, he's got to be pleased with that. He might just have got his team a draw here. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Still not clear. And saved by the keeper. Well, you just never know about chances near the end. You've got to be opportunistic. Will this corner do it? And the keeper deals with the danger. He's in with a chance. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next?
So two minutes to be added on at the end. Oh, big chance. A glorious opportunity it was, and that could loom large. Well, that should have put them level. That could be it for them today. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result.